Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking revolution in the electric vehicle industry, spearheaded by none other than China. Despite holding the majority of the world's lithium reserves, China is steering the EV industry towards a new direction with the introduction of sodium batteries. This innovative technology is set to redefine the EV landscape, making electric transportation truly sustainable and eco-friendly. So buckle up as we explore six compelling reasons why China's sodium battery is poised to transform the EV industry in 2024. Starting with reason number six, sodium batteries are more affordable. The slow pace of electrification and the reluctance to embrace this transition primarily stem from the high cost of electric vehicles. Traditional cars with internal combustion engines still hold a price advantage. The culprit? The battery, which often accounts for half of an electric vehicle's cost due to the need for rare earth materials like lithium. Enter sodium batteries, a potential game changer due to their significantly lower cost. Our planet is abundant in sodium, and its mining and extraction processes are simpler, leading to substantial reductions in production costs. But the advantages of sodium batteries extend beyond sodium itself. This innovative technology incorporates other affordable and readily available elements like copper, iron, and manganese in the cathodes. The use of sodium also enables cheaper materials for current collectors, such as aluminum instead of copper foil. To illustrate, the average cost of a lithium-ion cell is around $120 per kilowatt-hour, according to CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer. In contrast, CATL estimates the initial cost of a sodium battery cell to be between $40 and $80 per kilowatt-hour. As this new technology evolves, we can expect this cost gap to widen even further. Moving on to reason number five, sodium batteries pose fewer environmental concerns. While EVs are touted as zero-emission vehicles, the story behind lithium batteries paints a different picture. Despite no carbon emissions during a ride, the extraction of lithium and other rare earth materials involves significant environmental risks, including massive carbon emissions, extensive use of sulfuric acid, and a high demand for fresh water. The aftermath often leaves the surrounding area barren, resembling a lunar landscape, with a high risk of contaminating our most precious resource fresh drinking water. In contrast, sodium and sodium ion batteries offer a more environmentally friendly solution. Sodium extraction, a practice that has been around for centuries, is less aggressive and causes less ecological disruption. As the production of sodium batteries increases, we can anticipate even more environmentally friendly methods in the future. Lastly, let's not overlook recycling. Currently, recycling lithium batteries is costly and complex, resulting in only 5% of lithium ion batteries being recycled. This is another area where sodium batteries could potentially have an advantage in the future. Next up, reason number four, sodium ion batteries are safer. Safety is a paramount concern when it comes to the everyday use of electric vehicles. You've probably seen videos of electric vehicles catching fire, and while these incidents are relatively rare, they're notoriously difficult to extinguish. This is due to lithium's high reactivity, which can ignite due to various factors, including internal short circuits, external heat, or physical damage. When a phenomenon known as thermal runaway occurs, the battery's internal temperature rapidly increases, leading to a chain reaction that releases even more heat and gas, causing further overheating. These batteries can even explode, and dealing with such fires requires significantly more water, time, and effort than typical fires. On the other hand, sodium ion batteries are considerably less flammable, thanks to the chemical properties of sodium. Sodium is larger and heavier than lithium, which translates to slower diffusion and lower reactivity, making the occurrence of thermal runaway highly unlikely. Additionally, the other materials used in sodium ion batteries are also less flammable, so even if there is a fire risk with sodium batteries, it is significantly reduced. Before we delve into reason number three, take a moment to subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to bring more content like this to you. Now let's shift gears to reason number three, the energy density of sodium batteries is on the rise. Historically, the primary drawback of sodium batteries and why lithium batteries initially dominated was energy density. Lithium batteries currently lead in this area with an average density between 265 and 280 watt hour per kilogram, while most sodium ion batteries range between 140 and 160 watt hour per kilogram. This means lithium batteries can store more energy per unit volume and weight, impacting several aspects. It affects maximum range, as more stored energy equates to greater autonomy. It also influences overall performance, 
enabling higher power output and faster charging and discharging rates. Furthermore, a higher energy density allows for weight savings, a key factor in the automotive industry. However, the landscape is shifting. Sodium ion batteries, a burgeoning technology, are poised for significant advancements. CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, has already launched a sodium ion battery with a 160 watt hour per kilogram energy density and plans to introduce a 200 watt hour per kilogram battery soon. This suggests that sodium batteries will soon match lithium batteries in energy density, eliminating lithium's advantage and explaining why more EV manufacturers are already incorporating this new technology. Now, let's cruise to reason number two. Sodium ion batteries excel in both high and low temperatures. Initially, it was thought that sodium-based batteries couldn't compete with lithium batteries in cold temperatures. However, recent research has debunked this assumption. Unlike lithium ion batteries, the cells in sodium batteries are not flammable, nor are they prone to explosions or short circuits. They can endure both high and low temperatures, with recent studies showing they can operate between minus 20 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius, or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit if you prefer. In comparison, lithium batteries have an optimal operating range between 0 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. In essence, with continued development, sodium batteries could potentially address one of the biggest shortcomings of electric vehicles, their subpar performance in low temperatures. To date, EVs have underperformed in such conditions, with a significantly reduced range compared to manufacturer claims. Sodium batteries could potentially rectify this issue in the future. Even with similar performance, they present a safer alternative, given that a wider operational temperature range also means they are less susceptible to fire and freezing. And finally, we arrive at reason number one, superior longevity and reliability. Reflecting on our discussion, it's clear that sodium batteries hold immense potential for future use. As we've highlighted, sodium is not only significantly cheaper than lithium, but it's also easier to mine and widely available. This bodes well for the sustainability and growth of the industry, particularly considering that the largest sodium reserves are in North America, not China, unlike lithium. This emerging battery technology also promises greater reliability for future EV owners. As we've noted, these batteries are far less prone to fire and are less affected by various external factors, including climatic conditions. Some experts even suggest that sodium batteries could potentially offer superior longevity compared to lithium batteries. In essence, EVs powered by these batteries wouldn't just be more sustainable, they'd also be more affordable. Plus, manufacturers could potentially offer longer warranties on critical components, addressing one of the major concerns with lithium batteries, which typically last between 100,000 and 150,000 miles for 8 to 10 years. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of EVs. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay updated on the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.